What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released iOS 16 Developer Beta 4 to developers, and tomorrow they'll most likely release Public Beta 3 to public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new in iOS 16 Beta 5. So it looks like Beta 4 had the update screen bugged out, but it does come in at 1.34 gigabytes on my iPhone 13 right here. And we have a lot to cover today, so let's get started. So when I go to the home menu, you'll notice right here that we finally, finally have that battery percentage indicator. So it is turned off by default. To turn it on, all you gotta do is go to your settings, battery and battery percentage, as you can see, that's what it looked like before, and turning it on, it turns on that. It looks a lot better in my opinion, and I really like that Apple has finally added this. However, this has not been enabled on many iPhones as of right now, and I'm not sure if they will enable it on many iPhones. The second thing we got are some new splash screens. There's this one for home, this one for photos, this one for Find My, and this one for maps. It just tells you what is new, but this one, shows you what is new in iOS 15 instead of iOS 16 for some reason. It seems like Apple has changed some design language. So if we were to go into software update, you can see right there that 16.0 is now in bold, but it looks pretty nice in my opinion. It looks a lot better when it just said iOS 16 instead of 16. So hopefully that remains there. If we were to take a screenshot in iOS 16, open it, press done, we now have an option to copy and delete. To copy and delete it, we'll copy it to your clipboard. If we were to put it in our note, we are now able to paste it. So as you can see, there's a screenshot I took and it works pretty well. Right, so on the lock screen when we're playing music, you can see that bar right there. When we start playing the song, let me turn down my volume real fast. You can see that it shows how loud the song is and it's pretty nice in my opinion. Control nearby devices got a new glyph icon. Originally, it was always in light mode regardless if you had dark mode enabled or not. And it was a glyph icon of screen sharing, but with the boxes filled in. But now it has changed to something like that. And going into it, it looks like it is the exact same thing as control your devices. You can't control Macs quite yet. Hopefully we can do that. The camera app on iPadOS, we can see that the boxes over here are a lot wider. So it makes it a lot easier to tap and toggle between 4K, HD, and the frames per second. That is a really nice change Apple has made. I hope Apple makes more things reachable on iPad. That's a lot of iOS and iPadOS bugs seem to be fixed, like the volume slider bug that is now fixed on iOS and iPadOS. So far, performance seems to be a lot better, and battery life seems to be a lot better as well. Now let's take a look at Geekbench and see if Geekbench can tell us a story here. Alright, comparing it to beta 4 and beta 5, it is a little bit higher. We got a 1732 on the single core and a 4588 on the multi-core. Now let's compare it to iOS 15.5. We got a 1725 on the single core compared to 1732, which is higher, and 4632 on the multi core, and 4588 on the multi core as well. Now we just need to wait for the multi core to improve before we get it on par with iOS 15.5 right there. Now should you install iOS 16 beta 5 on your main device? I say if you have beta 4 already on your device, I would be definitely upgrading to beta 5, especially for the battery percentage indicator so you no longer need to scroll down to get that. And that it feels a lot smoother as well. Even though it doesn't say and we have any bug fixes, we do have a lot of bug fixes, including the volume slider, and it feels a lot better overall. And if you are still on iOS 15, I would wait until Sunday and I'll let you know what- Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!